Are you a new entrepreneur that is looking to replace your corporate income? If so, I want to ask you something. Are you looking to cut your standard of living in half? Welcome to Living Forward TV, where we have real, honest, and fun conversations about business success, lifestyle design, and most importantly, the mindset, the decisions, and the actions that make it all happen. Many new entrepreneurs that I meet and work with will tell me exactly that, that their goal, their income goal, is to replace their corporate income. And you know what? That is a great starting goal. And when I tell them that's a great starting goal, they kind of look at me like I'm kind of crazy because they say, no, that's their goal. But I asked them the same question I asked you at the opening of this episode is, are you prepared to cut your standard of living in half? You see, many entrepreneurs aren't realizing that their income, their business income is so different than their corporate income because when you worked in corporate, that money was yours. I mean, sure, you had to pay tax or some benefit deductions or little odd things that came out, but everything that happened in the company was paid for by the company. As an entrepreneur, that all changes. You have marketing, you have travel, you have utilities, you have business expenses, you could have team expenses. And what you might find is by the time all those are taken care of, you're at the bottom and there isn't that much left. So meeting your corporate income is a huge milestone and one to be celebrated, but I wanna challenge you to set bigger goals. And you see, I think the reason so many entrepreneurs say that is because it's it's a whole different mindset shift when you step out of having a secure paycheck into your own business and a lot of new entrepreneurs don't want to appear greedy they don't want to be judged by their friends and family they aren't sure how to make more money because this is all they've made in the past and so this number is a number they know it's a number that's safe and they feel good um, stating that but here's the thing playing safe keeps you small And when you play safe, you're holding on to a belief that that's all you can make. And that's a belief that's going to keep you broke. And that's because beliefs drive your actions. So if you don't believe you can make more money, you're not going to take the steps that you need, the decisions you need to make, and the risks you need to take to advance yourself to make more money. You became an entrepreneur because you wanted to set a different life for yourself, because you wanted to call the shots, because you wanted to create your own freedom. Here at Living Forward, we're all about creating your ideal day every day by design. And to do that, you gotta get real about how much money that's going to take, how much money it's going to take to um, fund your lifestyle, and how much money it's going to take to operate your business to create that lifestyle. So my challenge for you today is to take some time and think about what it is you really want. Not what other people think you can have and not what you think you should do. What do you want? And set that goal for yourself. If you've enjoyed today's episode, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and please share it with somebody you know needs to hear this. And of course, I'd love to have you as part of my community. Hop on over to livingforwardcommunity.com and join the community. I look forward to seeing you there and I'll catch you on the next episode.